If you own a P1P, P1S, or X1 Carbon, you probably run into the issue of the poop shoot getting clogged in the back of the printer. Every time the printer changes filaments, it gets old and it can ruin prints. Today, we're going to fix that. Look, I've seen tons of different methods, but truth be told, there's a lot out there. There's DIY, and there's even parts to replace these things. But today, we're going to go with the easiest route. And that's the Big Q Panda Brush. Pick yours up in the Amazon link in my bio. With that being said, let me walk you through how to put this thing in. It's honestly one of the simplest upgrades you can do for your Bamboo Lab P1S, P1P, or X1 Carbon. It's literally just located right here in the back of the printer. Yeah, that little guy right there. This might honestly be the easiest swap of all time. It's literally one screw. I honestly have no idea why I waited so long to do this. This thing has been a pain in my butt. Now for the easiest part in the entire process. You're gonna open this package you got from BICU, you're gonna pull out the scrubber, and you're gonna replace it. I really don't think it could be any more straightforward. Here's the scrubber right here. This is completely a replacement. And uh, it's even got two little bristle pads on top, and that's just to wipe the nozzle. No change in G-code, no in-depth tutorial, nothing crazy. You literally don't even have to screw this thing back in. You can see here there's two ball bearings here at the bottom. It literally just slides onto the tab. You'll feel it click into place, and that's it. You really can't tell me it gets any easier than this. And it really is kind of a satisfying click. Now I opted to go one step further just to ensure that I don't have any more clogs. And that is this PTFE adhesive tape. All we're gonna do is cut a couple of pieces. We're gonna cover the front edge of the poop chute and the flap on the inside. That'll just ensure that we won't have any filament sticking to any of the plastic while it's hot. It's really also just as simple as the other part. We're gonna cut two small pieces. We're gonna just press them into place. It really doesn't get any easier than this. Pretty cheap insurance in my opinion, to save some of these prints from failing. Now, I do want to add here that BICQ does offer the Panda Purge Shield, which is a plate upgrade that does the exact same thing as this tape. They just didn't have any available when I ordered the scrubber. So here we are. I opted to go this route to save some time and uh, hopefully save my printer some more headaches. Really is that simple. Put everything back together, put your printer back in its place, plug everything in, and happy printing. So if you love tech tips, building, painting, and printing things, this is a place for you. Now all that's left to do is put our printer back where it was at. Plug everything in, make sure everything's hooked up, turn your stuff back on, and, and just get back to printing.